Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll go over how to charge the DJI Air 3 drone batteries individually within the Air 3 and collectively in the 3 battery charging hub. We'll also talk about charging both types of DJI remote controllers and mobile devices. Additionally, we'll also walk through performing the power transfer function on the battery hub. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. A very important step to perform after purchasing the Air 3 is charging all batteries before using them, whether these be drone or remote controller batteries. To charge the DJI Air 3, DJI recommends using their 100 watt power adapter. Now a 100 watt charger will provide the fastest charging speeds for the Air 3 batteries. Now while using the DJI branded 100 watt chargers recommended, aftermarket 100 watt PD chargers also work well. Not only do they work well, but many have multiple USB ports for charging additional devices. This comes in handy when looking for an all-in-one solution to charge the Air 3 batteries and a remote controller. In the following steps, we'll walk through charging the DJI RC2 and RCN2 with a single charger. Now firstly, using the included DJI USB-C cable, attach the cable to your 100 watt USB charger and plug the charger into your power source. Next, plug the USB-C cable into either the RC2 or RCN2 controller. The lights on the controller will blink, showing that they're charging. Now, after charging is completed, remove the USB-C cable from the remote controller. Now, if you'd like to check the amount of power the remote controller has at any given time, simply press the power button once and the LEDs will alert you to the remaining battery level. Now we'll talk about charging a single battery. Only one battery will be included if you purchase the Air 3 and controller only combo. So to charge the single battery that came with the Air 3, it's noted that it needs to be done so within the Air 3 itself. Now, as with the RC, attach the included USB-C cable to a 100-watt PD charger and plug the charger into your outlet and power strip. Now, insert your Air 3 drone battery into the Air 3. Plug the USB-C cable into the Air 3. The lights on the drone will blink, showing that it's charging. After the Air 3 is completed fully charging, unplug it from the USB-C cable. Now we'll focus on charging via the multifunction charging hub. The multifunction battery charging hub in the Air 3 Fly More combo allows you to charge three intelligent flight batteries, charge either an RC2 or RCN2 remote controller, charge a mobile device, and transfer power from two depleted batteries to a third. Like with most DJI hubs, the charging is done sequentially with the drone battery with the highest battery level being charged first. So to charge three batteries, insert your Air 3 batteries into the charging hub. Now using an available USB-C cable, connect the Air 3 battery hub to your 100 watt charger. Your Air 3 batteries will charge sequentially until all batteries have been fully charged. And to quickly check how much battery life is left on the batteries in the charging hub, simply press the power button once on the side of the charging hub. To charge a remote controller or even a mobile device using the charging hub, you'll need a USB-C to USB-C cable. Now make sure at least one Air 3 battery is in the charging hub and has battery power. Plug one end of the USB-C cable into the battery hub's USB-C port. Plug the other end of the USB-C cable into your remote controller or device. Now, press and hold the black power or function button on the battery hub. The lights on the Air 3 battery or batteries within the hub will begin to blink, as well as the lights on the remote controller signifying charging. If you're charging a mobile device, it'll also show that it is charging. To use the power transfer feature, insert all three batteries into the unplugged battery hub. 
Press and hold the black power or function button until the LED indicator changes from yellow and blinks green. To stop the power accumulation function, simply press and hold the function button until the LED status turns yellow. Again, the remaining power from multiple batteries will transfer to the battery with the highest remaining power. So instead of having three partially powered batteries, you can now have one fully or close to fully charged battery for your next flight. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.